hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have square root of a divided by a is equal to 1 and we solve this problem for the values of a so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will verify that which of these roots are solution of this equation and which of these roots are extraneous root so uh, here uh, uh, we uh, just uh, solve this problem for two methods and I hope so you like uh, both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so uh, in first method uh, you see here the denominator in the right hand side is 1 and so now we need to cross multiply the terms uh, so that when we cross multiply the terms it will be written as we multiply 1 with this value and a with this value so it will become the square root of a is equals to a and uh, because we solve this problem for the values of a so for this we need to take squaring on both of the sides in this form and uh, now you see here uh, this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here a is equals to this is a square so further in the next step we move this a in the right hand side and it will be written as a square minus a is equals to 0 and now you see here both of these terms involve a so we will take common a from here and we get the remaining values are from here uh, after taking common a from here we get a and from here we get only 1 is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a is equals to 0 and the second case is we write a minus 1 is equals to 0 so uh, this is the, our first root of the given equation and from here we get the value of a is equals to 1 and this is the our second root of the given equation and now uh, here in the next step we need to verify both of these roots and we will check that which of these roots are solution and which of these roots are extraneous root of the given equation so for the verification of the roots we first need to copy down given question statement here it is square root of a divided by a is equals to 1 and here uh, we just uh, verify a is equals to 0 and here we verify a is equals to 1 so uh, for verification of both of these these roots we here first we verify a is equals to 0 for this we put this value on in the left hand side of the uh, above equation so when we put this value here it will be written as square root of 0 divided by 0 is equals to 1 and we know that square root of 0 is equals to 0 divided by 0 is equals to 1 so uh, you uh, very well know about that the meaning of 0 over 0 form is a it is the uh, indeterminate form okay this is the indeterminate form uh, or in other words uh, it is the undefined form okay so if it is uh, undefined uh, form uh, left hand side is the undefined form this means that uh, the value of a is equals to 0 does not satisfy our given question statement so if a is uh, not satisfied uh, to the given equation so it means that a is equals to 0 be the um, extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root and you very well know about that uh, the root which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root so that a is equals to 0 with the extraneous root and now here uh, we need to verify the second root uh, and uh, for verification of the second root uh, uh, we need uh, to put this value into the left hand side of the given equation and it will be written as square root of 1 divided by 1 is equals to 1 and we know that square root of 1 is equals to 1 divided by 1 is equals to 1 and 1 divided by 1 is equals to 1 equals to 1 
So this shows that left hand side is equal to right hand side. It means that A is equals to 1 is satisfied our given question statement. So A equals to 1 be the uh, one solution of the given equation. So uh, here we again solve this problem for second method uh, and for second method we uh, need to again copy down the given question statement here okay so uh, in second method we have a square root of a divided by a is equals to 1 so here uh, in second method we just use the technique of radicals and uh, here we write the denominator of this term into the radical form we know that uh, if you have this is a we write it as square root of a into square root of a is equals to 1 and now you see here uh, we have this square root of a is cancelled out by this square root of a and we will get here 1 divided by square root of a is equals to 1 and uh, here we uh, solve this problem for the values of a so that we move this square root of a to the right hand side and it will be written as 1 is equals to square root of a. So for the values of a we need to take the scaling on both of the sides. So after taking scaling it will be written as in this form. So we have this is 1 square and 1 square is equals to 1 and this